Hello, how to solve for s and y in this equation s plus y is equal to 13, s y is equal to 40. Solution. s plus y is equal to 13. Let's call this equation 1. s y is equal to 40. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 1. S plus Y is equal to 13. Y is equal to 13 minus S. This is equation 3. From equation 2, S Y is equal to 40. Then, S bracket y is 30 minus s is equal to 40. Let's open the bracket. S multiplied by 13. This is 13 s minus s multiplied by x. S square is equal to 40. And this is 13 x minus s square minus 40 is equal to 0. Here is minus s square plus 13 s minus 40 is equal to 0. Now let's divide all through by minus 1. This can be written as minus s square divided by minus 1. This is s square plus 13s divided by minus 1. This is minus 13x and then minus 40 divided by minus 1. This is plus 40 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve this using either factorization method or quadratic general formula. Now let's use factorization method. We have s square minus 13 s plus 40 is equal to 0 then the coefficient of s square here is 1 the coefficient of s a is minus 13 and the constant is 40 we look for two numbers so that the product will be equal to the 40 and the sum will equal to the coefficient of s which is minus 13 now if you have the product this is minus 8 multiplied by minus 5 this is going to give 40 then the sum will be equal to minus 8 minus 5 this is equal to minus 13 then therefore minus 13 s is equal to minus 8s minus 5s then this equation can be written as s square minus 8s minus 5s plus 40 is equal to 0 then s bracket s minus 8 minus 5 bracket s minus 8 is equal to 0. Now s minus 8 is common. We have s minus 8 bracket this is s minus this 5 is equal to 0. There are two cases here s minus 8 is equal to 0 or s minus 5 is equal to 0 then from here s is equal to 8 and from here s is equal to 5 therefore x1 is equal to 8 and then 
s2 is equal to 5. We've gotten the value of s. Let's solve for y. To solve for y, to solve for y from equation 3, y is equal to 13 minus x. Now, when x is equal to 8, then y is equal to 13 minus 8. Therefore, y1 is equal to 5. This is the value of y1. Also, when s2 is equal to 5, y2 is equal to 13 minus 5, y2 is equal to 8. Therefore, our final answer are s1, y1 is equal to 8,5, then s2, y2, this is equal to 5,8. This is the final answer. You can see that the value of S1 here is equal to the value of Y2 here. Also, the value of Y1 here is equal to the value of S2 here. Then, let's consider quadratic general formula method by quadratic general formula we have the given equation for s square from s square minus 13 s plus 40 is equal to 0 then S is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. Then A is equal to 1. B is equal to 13. C is equal to 40. S is equal to minus bracket minus 13 plus or minus square root of minus 13 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 everything divided by 2 and then s is equal to minus times minus 13 this is 13 plus or minus square root of minus 30 square that is 169 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 40 that is 160 everything divided by here is 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2 s is equal to 13 plus or minus 169 minus 160 that is square root of 9 divided by 2. S is equal to 13 plus or minus square root of 9. That is 3 divided by 2. Then S1 is equal to 13 plus 3. That is 16 divided by 2. Or S2 is equal to 13 minus 3, that is 10 divided by 2. 2 year 1, 2 year 8, 2 year 1, 2 year 5. S1 is equal to 8, and then S2 is equal to 5. These are the values of x. Then also for y, 
from equation three. y is equal to 13 minus x then y1 is equal to when s1 is 8 we have 13 minus 8 and y1 is equal to 5 also when s is equal to 5 then y2 is equal to 13 minus 5 y2 is equal to 8 therefore s1 comma y1 is equal to 8 comma 5 Then S two comma Y two is equal to five comma eight. You can see that if you use both quadratic general formula and factorization method, we are going to get the same answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.